In this video, I'm going to talk about how to play bottom couch down a little bit cleaner, um, as well as explain the two ending options that you have. Um, if you're playing the A line, then you're going to want to remember that there's six of each note. Um, the rhythm being long, short, short. So you can try that on open D. <laughs> eventually we're going to go faster, but that's the general idea. Then with that rhythm, you want to do six of each note, starting on F sharp. You can play the upper option or the lower option. I'm going to explain the lower option first because honestly it's a little bit easier. This option um, is D, A, A, B, A, B, A, rest, C sharp, D. Do that slowly once more. D, A, A, B, A, B, A, rest, C sharp. you need to shift into what would this be fourth position I believe. So on this string you on this string you have G, A, B, C natural, C sharp, and D. You need to put your first finger on D. That also means that your thumb needs to be really pretty low, almost in the um, crook of the neck, in the curve right here. So you're gonna shift down, well it's actually called shifting up because the notes get higher. You're gonna shift up all the way with your thumb in the crook of the neck and your first finger on D on the G string. That's high D. Then, keeping your finger in the exact same place, you're going to transfer over to the D string and play A. At this point, you need to put four fingers down. In order to do this successfully, you need to make sure that you are very close to your base and that your elbow is very far forward. It's not just up, it's also forward, almost like trying to kind of like get as far forward as you can go. So again, from the beginning of this ending, you're on high D with one finger and your thumb is down in the crook. Now the B is four fingers, so you got D, what does it sound like? D, there it is. D, A, A, B, A. You don't have a tape for B, but if you're singing in your head, you can check if it's in tune. It's going to take a lot of finger strength, so I really recommend doing those push-ups with your fingers, as well as using that squishy ball I gave you to always have that claw shape, that claw shape we need. D, A, A, B, A. And then you shift back just a slight bit to get C sharp, D. D, A, A, B, A, shift back a little, C sharp, D, bring that elbow forward, D, A, A, A B, A, shift back a little, C sharp, D. Now let's play the last measure of the song and get into that ending. So let's play four open Ds, and you'll be up here because you'll just done F sharp, E. Now what I recommend is, after you do this, that when I did F, 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 E, 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 D, 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 during the open D at the end of the song, I moved my hand into position, up into third position. I'll show you again. The second I let go and started playing open D at the end of the song, I moved my hand up so my thumb was in the crook, and so my first finger was on high D. I'll do that once more, but then actually play the ending itself starting in the uh, second to last measure.